Welcome back to Good Morning Cleveland on News 5. If we can help um, bridge that gap for those kids to uh, better themselves through athletics, um, you know, that's that's what we want to do. Yeah, the YMCA of Greater Cleveland, they do so much great work. And right now they're doing just that, working to help educate and empower kids. Thank you so much for being here with us on Good Morning Cleveland. I'm Katie Euston. And I'm Danita Harris. Building bridges through basketball. Yeah, that's the name of the nationwide program aimed at addressing race and bias issues, but to also improve relationships between police and the communities they serve. Let's check in with Tanisha Gordell. She's live this morning with more details on this pretty, you know, innovative idea here with Tanisha. It really is. You know, I think, you know, I spoke with the YMCA team. They really hit on the fact of, you know, basketball is everything. It's really the core and it's a, a melting pot of, of everybody. And that's exactly what they're using this for, right? The Cleveland as a city as a whole was literally chosen as one of 10 cities nationwide to participate in this program. You have Rise, Under Armour and the NBA leading this initiative. Now, the 10 week program in terms of building bridges through basketball will match local officers with middle and high school students together and the officers will basically teach them basketball skills and some other skills that they can take off the court. Now we're told the program creates a space for them to engage in honest conversations to help break barriers, build trust and allow both sides to see uh, life from each other's perspective. Understanding what a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old goes through on a daily basis, um, you know, will pay dividends to not only the why, but to law enforcement, to the community leaders, um, you know, we, we hope to be able to share our results with, with anybody that's interested. All right, now the program will take place at three YMCA locations in our area, including West Park here. You also have Lorraine and Elyria. About 25 to 30 kids will uh, pretty much be able to attend the, each session at each location. Signups, we're told, expected to start and open in this fall, starting like October, September. So really exciting, uh, I think, opportunity for everyone, Danita. Oh yeah, building bridges and uh, getting that conversation going. Thank you, Tanisha. Well, you heard Tanisha, this is in partnership with the national nonprofit Rise to Win. And while registration for the basketball program will open in the fall, online resources are available right now. Rise to Win has a digital learning series, modules on racism 101, understanding power, practicing empathy, and a whole lot more. We're gonna link it within Tanisha's story online. You can get it all on our website, news5cleveland.com.